Hare Krishna. In the series of spiritual trip to Vrindavan, we are now covering five pastimes of Lord Krishna. In episode 15, we have spoken about Kalyanag delivery, which happened in Kalyaghata. And in episode 16, today we are dealing with deliverance of Keshi demon. And since we will be talking to Keshi Ghat, we also saw Yamuna Arati the famous Jamuna Arati in the evening there, so we will touch upon that as well. Adi Baraha Purana says, Keshi Tirtha, the place where Keshi was killed by Krishna, is hundred times more sacred than the Ganges. By offering Pinda to the forefathers at Keshi Tirtha, one attains the result of offering Pinda in Gaya. Keshi Ghat is the place where Krishna slew the horse demon Keshi. The powerful demon was servant of Kangsha and had been given the order to find Krishna and kill him. The demon arrived in the forest of Vrindavana in the form of a gigantic horse with the intention of killing Krishna. This demon had been living in the area of Braja for a long time and had previously terrorized the inhabitants of the Nandagrama during the period that Prajanya, the father of Nanda Maharaja, had lived. There were powerful demons like Keshi, Putana, Trinatra, Vatsasura, Aghasura and others who had performed many years of severe penance and, at, and achieved various siddhis or mystical power and by that siddhi known as Kamarupa siddhi they could change their physical form at will. One day the Keshi demon heard that Krishna was wandering in the forest of Vrindavan along with his cowherd boyfriends and immediately he went there to kill him. Being a powerful demon, he possessed the form of a gigantic horse and when he arrived there, he immediately began neighing very loudly to announce his presence. Without wasting any time, he charged Krishna and very boldly wanted accept, uh, challenged Krishna for a fight. Krishna accepted the challenge Making a loud winning sound, Keshi Demon began charging towards Krishna, kicking up large clumps at earth with his hoofs as he galloped forward. Krishna remained steady and as the horse demon got within his reach, he simply picked him up like a child picks up a flower and hurled him a hundred meters away. Momentarily stunned due to being thrown such a long distance, the demon got up and after shaking his head, neighing very loudly, he once again started galloping and charging at a very greater speed. However, waiting patiently for Keshi to close enough, Krishna suddenly rammed his first straight down to the demon's throat, which instantly knocked out all the demon's large yellow teeth. Krishna then expanded his face to such a size the demon could no longer breathe and suddenly found himself choking to death. As the demon's bloodshot eyes bulged from the socket, his legs began to shake violently and streams of sweat poured from his body. As Keshi fell to the ground in great pain, he passed stool and urine simultaneously as his life air burst out from the top of his head and merged at Krishna's lotus feet. Within moment it was all over. Krishna then proceeded to the bank of Jamuna to wash the blood from his hands and take a purifying bath at the ghata. When this celebrated, this ghata is therefore named as Keshi ghata. At Keshi ghata, we always find Jamuna Arti happening. Jamuna Arati, because it was winter time, it started little early and there were three different places where at three different time slots Jamuna Arati was happening. 
we could however witness one and by the side of river Jamuna in the dark evening it was a splendid sight to look. The all merciful God has delivered the demons who wanted to kill him. Undoubtedly if we approach him with bhakti he will definitely do mercy to us as well. Hare Krishna.